It's an all too familiar scene here in this public housing complex. I'm Tish Bassano and this is the memorial for Shaquille Wallace. He was coming home from work one night in January when he was gunned down just steps away from his home. Now this isn't the only memorial in this housing complex. In fact, uh, just a few meters away lies another memorial for another innocent young man. It seems like these that have the community looking for answers from the city. Police say Ogbo was an innocent victim. The 26-year-old engineering student was visiting friends in the neighborhood when he was shot in the back while walking to his car last month. Days later, police released multiple security videos from the Toronto Community Housing Complex, and two weeks later, they made arrests in the case. Shaquille Wallace, on the other hand, was shot and killed two months prior. Police only releasing a picture of a possible suspect vehicle this past week. And to see one, 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 you know, murder solved very quickly or, or worked on very quickly and see the other one um, almost dismissed has been, been very t challenging for the community to process. We try our very best to treat everybody the same uh, and to apply, uh, you know, just as much attention to one case as to another. And I hope that that's what we've done in this, in this, uh, in this instance. We reached out to Toronto Police to find out the reason for the delay in releasing the picture of the suspect car in Wallace's murder. We're waiting to hear back from the Homicide Division for an answer. Residents say part of the problem is how the building is managed. Today, they met up to talk about the lack of cameras, speed bumps and lighting, which leave many concerned for their safety. We've had a meeting today where we're airing our, a lot of our concerns that we need to be taken back to management, but there's been nothing at all, nothing brought to us, nothing, no letters dropped, no nothing. So there's no reassurance at all that this is a safe place then? Not at all. Yes. People pass away, the families are hurt, but everyone else in the community is affected by this as well. It's not just the family who's lost their loved ones or anything. It's just because you live in Toronto Community Housing doesn't mean you deserve this quality of life. Everybody deserves to be safe in the city. Now, in two weeks' time, residents plan to meet with both Mayor John Tory and local councillor Michael Ford to talk about the ongoing violence in this neighbourhood. They also want to build a better relationship with the police to create a safer environment for residents. In Etobicoke, I'm Natish Bassano, City News.